Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Anne with our first official Story and a Craft for 2021. It's a little late getting on, on, on our, um, our Facebook page this morning, but uh, we hope you're going to be here and enjoy it and count the books that we read for your thousand books for kindergarten if you're doing that. Um, do a lot of fun programs this January. We're going to do our craft cart still going on strong. If you haven't done some crafts this month, come in and get some. Uh, Mr. Josh is going to be doing his uh, stories, his, his music and his stories. Uh, bedtime story time with Miss Amy, Miss Shannon. Uh, we're going to do some other special crafts coming up in February. Keep an eye out for that. Chef Rob is doing for January a blueberry pancake program. You should grab and go. So if you haven't signed up for that, definitely sign up because that's going to be... Did you know January is blueberry pancake day? I did not know that until Chef Rob told me that. And now I'm so excited and can't wait to celebrate. Uh, we're going to do in February, sign up is ongoing. Uh, Chef Rob's Snowstorm Cookies. So that's uh, going to be exciting too. That sounds like really yummy stuff. So do that. Do some of our programs. Take a look at our Facebook page. Um, see what's going on. Take a look at our happenings. That's on our website, BabylonLibrary.org. Uh, of course, we're going to start January with, um, you know, now we're in the heart of winter in January and there's lots of, the weather is always changing. You never know what it's going to be. It might be like a snowstorm behind me. Like you see this nice wintry, wintry mix that Miss Anne might do some uh, skiing later. I don't know. What do you think? I'll have to get ready and think about it. But until then, I'm going to read some more fun stories. And I'm going to start with, it can be windy, it can be snowy. I'm going to start with a book called Peggy. And it's by Anna Walker. It's one of my favorite chicken stories. And believe it or not, I have a few favorite chicken stories. If you have never read any of the Minerva Louise series, definitely read that. And then Peggy. Uh, and it starts like this. Peggy, a brave chicken on a big adventure it so you can see the pictures. Peggy lived in a small house on a quiet street. See where her house is? Do you see her? Yep, yeah, right there, right? With, with the sunflowers. Every day, rain or shine, Peggy ate breakfast, played in her yard, and watched the pigeons. You see some of the things she's doing? Right? There she is. And then she looks, she's on a trampoline. One blustery day, a big gust of wind swept down the clouds, through the clouds, scooping up leaves, twigs, and... Peggy! Oh my goodness, look at that. Where is she going? Peggy landed with a soft thud. She was far from home. She picked herself up, ruffled her feathers, and went for a walk. And there she is. What does that look like, boys and girls? It looks like some place with a lot of people, right? Like a city? Let's see what happens to Peggy. Peggy watched, hopped, jumped, twirled, and tasted. Look at she's She sees an umbrella. You ever have to see those duck umbrellas? has a little duck on it and she's following someone with a little dog and she's at the water fountain and she sees she's watching a movie it looks like and she's going up the escalator and she sees one of those egg containers that looks like a chicken and she sees a squirrel lamp and she sees a bargain sale and she sees oh she's a cookbook about fried chicken so she's going back down the elevator escalator she even found a cozy place to rest that reminded her of home Although it was not quite the same. Oh, poor Peggy. Peggy missed her home. She tried asking for directions, but people found it hard to understand her. In the rushing crowd, Peggy saw a sunflower, like the one in her yard. Do you see the sunflower? Can you see it? Where is it? Is it right there? Yep. She followed the sunflower. The sunflower sat down, so Peggy sat down too. Outside began moving. They were speeding away from the tall buildings. When Peggy looked around, the sunflower was leaving the train. Right there. Peggy hopped out of the train, but the sunflower was gone. She watched the sky grow darker as clouds rolled by. The wind was cold. A flock of birds flew quietly overhead. It was pigeons. The pigeons knew the way back to her yard. Oh, thank goodness. It felt good to be home. Every day, rain or shine, Peggy ate breakfast, 
played in her yard, chatted with the pigeons, and sometimes caught the train to the city. Sounds like she might live in Babylon, don't you think? She takes a train to the city every so often. Have you ever done that with your mom or dad or your grandparents? It's a lot of fun. When, this, when, when everything's back to normal, you can go and have an adventure in the city. It's like Peggy. And now we're going to read a classic book. You know, we can have windy days, we can have snowy days, we can have rainy days, we can have snowy, windy days. It's called The Blizzard. Um, we're going to read a classic. It's called The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. And this is over 50 years old. And it's the story of a little boy and his adventures in the snow. And see if you've done anything like a like little boy in this book. And there you go, The Snowy Day. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night, it covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. You see all the snow banks? Look how tall they are. Maybe we'll have snow like that this year where it will be so tall it'll be taller than you are. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. Can you see? He walked with his um, toes pointing in like that. Look at that. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. It was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. Oh my goodness. Pages are sticking together. One second. There you go. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. See that? He got caught in the middle. Oh. He pretended. Oh, wait, no. So he made a smiling snowman. And he made angels. Have you ever done that? Made a snowman or snow angels? That's a lot of fun, too. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. Hmm. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. Look how deep it is when they're walking. And that is the story of Peter and the snowy day. And there's some information about the author who wrote this and some of the, the information about, look at that's the original manuscript. That shows like what he wrote before it went into this beautiful picture book. And those are two great stories that you can count on your thousand books for kindergarten for 2021. Uh, like I said, take part in the, all the crafts and the activities we're doing. And um, we have a special craft out today. This, um, that I talked about wind and snow. We made um, some of our favorite crafts from 2020 and mine was the hot air balloon. So that's out in our craft cart if you wanna make that. Uh, it's got a new year twist. We have a little new year baby sitting in the, in the hot air balloon. So have a great 2021. We'll see you soon. Bye.